Here comes the field for race 10, start of the final pick three. Tompkins Gears, fourth and final division one Southern Art. Owned by Chester All, driven by Jeff Fout. Number two, It Does Come Easy, owned by June Bear with Eric Ledford. Three is the Adam Blaster, owned by Robert and Janine Smith with Mike Roth. Four, Western BT, owned and driven by Roger Hammer. Number five, Dixie Dragon, owned by Bobby Logsdon with Roger Culifer. Six, Necessary Courage, owned by the Gusty Stable and driver Mike Wilder. And rounding out the field of seven two-year-old Springtime Romeo, owned by Dorothy McIntosh with a driver change to David Miller. Field for the 10th, post time in six minutes, fourth and final division. Field for tonight's fourth and final division of the Tompkins Gear Stakes in behind starter John Betts, Southern Art. It does come easy. Adam Blaster, Western BT, Dixie Dragon, Necessary Courage, and Springtime Romeo. 16-5 the purse, sponsored by Biomet Ross. Horses and drivers are now in the hands of the starter, John Betts. It is post time. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Adam Blaster between horses takes the lead. Driving up on the outside, Dixie Dragon and along the rail, Southern Art, they're down the back stretch. It does come easy. Moves in and be fourth. Western BT, Necessary Courage. Springtime Romeo wide to the far outside. Rolling to the quarter mile pole. Odds on favorite quickly grab the racetrack. Opened up two lengths. Dixie Dragon leads the way. Adam Blaster is second. A temperate 28 and 1. They're off that top turn and racing past the stands. Dixie Dragon has got the top. Western BT coming with a total mission, driving up on the outside. Western BT brushes to the front. Around the clubhouse turn, Dixie Dragon second. Mike Roth has got a midfoot with the Atom Blaster. Here comes Springtime Romeo driving up on the outside. Southern Art is along the rail. It does come easy, and at the end, the trailer's necessary courage. They're hub to hub at the half in 57 and 4. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Quickly taking over command, Dixie Dragon. Springtime Romeo, a little bit rough, has jumped off straight on the outside as they leave the 5 8 head to three quarters. Dixie Dragon continues to lead the way. Alongside in second, Western BT. Here's Adam Blaster up on the outside. Southern Art followed by It Does Come Easy. After that, Necessary Courage and the trailer is Springtime Romeo. Moving by three quarters and 126 and three. Field moves to the head of the stretch. Dixie Dragon is all alone. Dixie Dragon continues to lead the way. Here comes It Does Come Easy moving up on the far outside. They're into the stretch. Dixie Dragon continues to lead the way. Southern Art shakes free in the center. Toward the inside, Western BT. It does come easy up on the outside. Dixie Dragon, all alone. It's now official. Here comes the winner of the 10th. Really impressive two-year-old colt by Dragon's Lair. Dixie Dragon out of Elmahurst Sapphire. Owned in Brownsville, Kentucky by Bobby Logsdon. Driven and trained by Roger Culifer, covering the mile here in 155 and 4 to establish a lifetime best and remain unbeaten. Number five, Dixie Dragon, the winner. The 5 1 exacta, $13.60, 1360. The trifecta, $62.40. The tri, $62.40. Windows are now up and on tonight's 11th race. No changes in the 11th. Exact and trifecta. Folks, don't forget to turn the page as we do have 12 tonight. 12 races on the card. Superfecta in the 12th. Eric Ledford driving one Big Sky Country. Post time, 13 minutes away at 11.01.